I'm going to spend less than three minutes showing you the most efficient way to 50% water change a medium to large freshwater planted aquarium and the clock's already ticking. Let's go! Here are all the items I use. A 3x4 fishnet, a durable clip, Tetra test strips, Seachem XL, a python with faucet adapter, a python hang-on tank refilling adapter, a colander slightly larger than my tank width, a python vacuum adapter, jungle start right, Seachem Prime, Seachem Flourish, a spare filter inlet adapter with custom mesh inlet filter, a container to put things in. A 5-gallon bucket with holes drilled in the bottom. Always begin by turning off power to the tank and its accessories. Disconnect the closest faucet and attach your Python sink adapter, ensuring the valve is open. Apply the vacuum adapter at the opposite end and cover the end with a fishnet to ensure none of your little buddies get abducted by aliens. When secured on the tank with your trusted clip, ensure your vacuum valve is open. Turn on your faucet to initiate the vacuum. When the bubbles stop flowing, you can turn off the water and the vacuum will maintain itself. This is where science and magic collide. Kind of like explaining how the sun rises and sets every day. No one knows, we just know it works. Next, remove your bio balls and sponges from the filter and put them in the container you forgot to bring over the first time. Rinse your balls thoroughly under the tank water. Never with tap water. Kneading your balls under the flow will help rinse away all the smelly crud that collects on them. Rinse the sponges thoroughly as well. Fill your container with tank water to replenish the water in your filter that mysteriously went missing into the void. Once 50% of the water is drained, close the vacuum valve and slowly expose the head of the vacuum to the surface. Removing too fast will result in a gush of water exiting from the vacuum which can cause havoc on your substrate. Hold your vacuum high whilst opening the valve to drain the water, lifting the hose as it goes until it's empty. Remove the vacuum adapter and replace it with a hang-on tank adapter. You can just as easily use the vacuum to fill the tank, however that would be completely antithetical to the concept of a vacuum and could cause a tear in the space-time continuum because they both have two U's but also because you'll want to fill most of your tank through the colander to keep the fast flows of water from nuking your substrate. With the filling mechanism in place and ensuring your fill adapter valve is 75% closed, return to your sink and bring the digital meat thermometer that I forgot to include in the original picture of items you'll absolutely definitely need. Turn on your faucet to the desired tank temperature and dial it in using the meat thermometer. Once steady, close the valve in the sink adapter and return to the filling mechanism. This is what happens if you close the valve 100% and take too long getting there. Immediately dose the water with part or all of the recommended amounts as described on your bottles. I prefer half now and the rest by the end, the same as my asshole creditors. When the water reaches the desired level, close the valve completely and quickly turn off your water. Open the sink valve and you'll get a pop for the same reason as before, because fluid dynamics are magic. Return to the fill adapter and as with the vacuum, HOLD YOUR HAMMERS HIGH! Turn on your power and ensure the filter primes properly. Add Seekam XL as described on the bottle. Never ever pour random amounts into your aquarium. You're done! Thanks for watching.